the definition for love over time has been twisted entirely there is this video i would like us to watch but before that a couple of things to note on love love is patient and kind love does not envy or boost it is not arrogant or rude it does not insist on its own ways it is not irritable or resentful it does not rejoice in wrongdoing i repeat it does not rejoice in wrongdoing but rejoices with the truth sadly our generation hates truth truth today is categorized as being judgmental and bigotry preach the bible and this is what you get god doesn't judge god does judge he has a judgment day does. Matthew chapter 13 verse 41. Our peace, but you being here is making it worse. I'm not fucking leaving. If you have a problem, get your shit off the square. Anywhere. Not going anywhere. Now. No. Not going anywhere. Hey, sweetheart, don't die. No, this is fucking bullshit. No, There's little kids holding that. Hey, so don't trust yourself, Cindy. Trust God. Oh no, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. Yes. I will only trust myself, whether I get it right or wrong. To be loving in this generation demands you act politically right say yes to whatever the culture throws at you support everything encourage everything accept everything it's no more about what the bible says and should you decide to disagree with the culture you will be cancelled you would be tagged with hate speech you are going to lose out on many job opportunities most popular social media platforms might shadow ban you or delete your account entirely if this is it then my question is where is the love these weird societies claim they have is it that we are confused or we just don't know what we are about anymore let's watch this video in light of the fact that you're a black man and jesus christ has been used to justify racism why do you follow jesus i follow jesus because he followed me everywhere i go Everything that I touch, every, everywhere that I walk, his favor, he, he meets me there. Um, and you, he meets me there through unconditional love. It doesn't matter if I got on a dress. It don't matter about a purse. It don't matter about my sexual orientation. He loves me. That, that's, that's universal. That unconditional love covers everything. Policies right. and the law. How are you treating me? What's in your heart? Good. But that's what I believe. That's a great thing. Yeah. Now, according to Christ, if I have sex with her and her and her and her and her, that is degrading. It's called fornication, premarital sex in the Bible. Instead, I'm to make a lifelong commitment to my wife and enjoy sex with her within the context of that commitment. What do you think about that? I think if those who choose to follow those guidelines, then yes. I think if those who choose to follow opposite lifestyles, then you have that free will to do so. Um, not everyone believes in God. Not everyone believes in Christ. Right. You know? And so, again, I think that's. I think oftentimes we get so misconstrued on the titles and this, this, this religion and this denomination. Uh -huh. Again, is the focus should just be love. Just, just, just love. Just, okay. just show unconditional love. Do you realize it's becoming more and more difficult for people to follow Jesus entirely? You hear people say, "We love Jesus. We love Jesus." until you speak on something, let's say fornication, and they go, well, what about other tribes and cultures where fornication is allowed? Now, you see the switch from Jesus to culture. They want to follow Jesus, go to church all right, but don't want to hear anything Jesus from the Bible. Such courts have a special line they use. I was born this way. No, you sinner, you weren't born that way. Maybe if these tribes and cultures you mentioned so much heard of Jesus, they would have repented. Like he said, the focus of every religion should be love. It's no more about Jesus because he knows Jesus wouldn't agree with him, but maybe Buddha will. Uh huh. Yeah, maybe Buddha or Krishna will. Let's mix Jesus up with the system and shake him up until Jesus pukes on himself. Look, praising Jesus, 
doesn't make you a follower. Bad, then we don't have time to focus on. Good. So define love. What is love? I think love is free. Love is free. Free. Love is positivity. Um, it's pleasurable. Love is um, exciting. It's healthy. I know you mentioned forgiveness. I have a different taste. You know, um, if I, I, I forgive the thief, and then tomorrow I, I'm okay with the thief getting touching that offering like, because I, I, I forgave you, and yeah. I'm gonna walk you through this new way of life to yes. where you don't have to do that again. So I'm not gonna still hold that. I, I understand having the wisdom and having the boundaries, but you're still my brother, you're still my sister. Yes. And so I, I don't want to add that negativity or hold that over your head when right. I know God, source, universe is not holding nothing over mine. He's throwing it in the sea of forgiveness. So I don't want to swim and go and go pick up your seat. I'm right. not interested in picking up your past. Okay. But, because God doesn't do that for me. Right. So, and I, I try to exemplify that to, and give that to others. Right. Inconsistent, unfaithful to his beliefs, and confused. And such are so many so-called Christians today. If you don't believe in God or the devil, maybe this day and age is a perfect time to look around and come to the conclusion maybe there is a demon manipulating you to believe there is no God and the devil doesn't exist as well. Guys, if you have any friend having gender identity issues, just pray for them. God can fix whatever that is broken within them. Now, looking at this gentleman, I see a whole bunch of confusion from Jesus to positive energy. Let's not focus on the negative, just be positive and loving. There was one time Jesus acted out positivity in the Bible. You know what happened? He took a whip and whipped the daylight out of these old, hypocritical, disrespectful, false, self-righteous, religious scammers in the temple. Jesus looked at them and yelled, bunch of wackos today is a whip day now that ought to be positive right well sadly not today jesus would have been tagged as abusive and intolerant some would have concluded jesus has daddy issues telling people to run out of a burning building is referred to as hateful today whilst watching them burn is termed as loving if truth harms your belief, then your belief is not grounded in truth. Do you have any problem with what Jesus Christ revealed about God, about life, and lifestyle? Um, well, if we, if we limit it to just the Bible, again, it makes you think about perception. You know, the person that was writing it, how did they perceive it, what were the things that they were going through? Like, and, and it gets kind of, it, gets, it does get tricky, you yeah. know? Whose yeah. voice, this voice, right. who's this author? You always have to consider the, you know, the context, right. consider the author. So it, it, it does get tricky. Yes. It does, which is why I choose to have peace and just love. That's it. And it, everything that we do, if you do it from a loving place, it'll be in alignment with, with what's written. This ought not to be taken lightly. It's a big problem. Why do you follow Jesus if the book can't be trusted? Because it's authorship authenticity is questionable right then why do you follow jesus who are you deceiving i personally think the issue with the body of christ today has to do with faithfulness and commitment to the lord most so-called christians today have a hard time dealing with these they want to love jesus and their sins all together they would praise jesus until the question of abortion or fornication is dropped then you hear them take a U-turn and go, yeah, we love Jesus, but, but what, but what, right, come on guys, be sincere, truthful, and honest to yourself, it's a big question you need to ask yourself, why do you follow Jesus, why, now back to my main topic, what is love, this is how I define love, the ability to do good and shun evil, how Jesus demonstrated love was really simple. He taught good ethical teachings. He saw the pain people went through and supported them both physically and spiritually. He healed the sick. At a point in time, a woman who had bled for 12 years touched his garment and was healed instantaneously. He cast out demons. He had the best approach dealing with people living in condemnation. He visited Zacchaeus, ate with him and at the end of the story, Zacchaeus had become a changed man. 
The tax collectors were the scammers in Jesus' days. Interestingly, he called one to follow him as his disciple, Matthew. There was no record of Matthew robbing or getting greedy over money amongst the disciples. So in conclusion, I would say truly, following Jesus changed Matthew. Being a disciple demands change. A change you don't battle for. Christ's duty is to cause the transformation only if you would be faithful, committed and obedient to his word. Love criticizes not to leave you in a shameful, rejected atmosphere, but rather to see you work on your shortcomings. Love is judgmental in a good sense, as in not condemning. We all judge, but in a good way. That doesn't make you a bigot like the colorful community is making it seem. For God so loved the world that he gave, so love gives. The question is, why did God give? Right? Why would God give out his only begotten son? This is what I think. That you and I would be brought back to him. So love has the ability to identify what is evil, thus delivering good from evil. This goes back to a point I made earlier. Love should always be associated with good so that evil will have no place near our abode. This is my take. People are looking for true love but at the wrong places and in the wrong way. Anytime you think of love, think of the one and only true being who willingly laid down his life for you so you wouldn't walk in darkness. Now this is true love and it only happens by willingly deciding to drop your pride and accepting Jesus' free gift of salvation. If you really, sincerely want to experience true love, this is what I think. Okay, if you love this video, kindly don't forget to leave me a sub, like, share. You can email me if you need more exegesis on content like this or need certain clarifications on the Bible, maybe you are losing out on your faith or something, kindly email me or send me a message and I'll gladly reply you.